Hey guys, welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, I wanted to uh, slap this little bit of kit together. I was browsing around on the uh, old porn refinery and uh, went to a site called Banggood, which wasn't quite what I thought it would be. But <laughs> sure enough, they have some pretty cool stuff on there. It, uh, it's a little Tesla coil kit for like six bucks. So I figured what the hell do I have to lose? I've always wanted a Tesla coil, you know, being 90% man-child, 10% engineer. It, uh, it's something that's always appealed to me, yet never really got the brass together to put together one of the big lightning machines. So, uh, got this little kit. Gonna slap it together, see how it works. So I'm just gonna start off throwing some uh, thermal tape on the uh, heat sink, since, of course, didn't come with any that I, I could find in here. There is this... Uh, sticky pad, but I imagine that's probably for mounting the coil, at least I would think. Probably stick it there and slap the coil on that. I might just epoxy it in the little, little more secure. God, this stuff is a pain to work with. Couldn't find the usual uh, thermal goop. So heat sinks are ready to go, now I'm going to slap the passives in. And uh, that should pretty much be it. It's pretty stupid simple to put together. So let me uh, probe these because I never bothered to learn my resistor color codes despite having several courses that required it. <laughs> that one's 2K. Let's see where she goes. Alright, there's a 2K. Pretty nice board. Pretty surprised. I was expecting the chintziest, crappiest little board ever, but it's pretty nice through-hole board. Double sided. It's a pretty decent, nicely silk screened. And we got another 2K to slap in there. That's the only remaining resistor. Let's make sure they sent us the right one. It is in fact 2K. Good on you, Chanaman. So, two LEDs. I'm not quite sure which one is supposed to go where. You just have LED1 and LED2 anode and cathode. Your anode's the longer side. So I'll just slap those in there. And I'll hit the passives now with a little solder just to uh, keep the board clean. Break out the old rape shack tip dinner. And uh, there's my solder there. Now this thing's also supposed to be a musical Tesla coil, which I really kind of doubt anything's going to be audible with how low power this thing probably is. But it's a pretty neat concept. I saw some uh, Kickstarter a while back that was a pretty, pretty darn cool uh, musical Tesla coil, much, much larger than this. All right. Add more components and repeat. Coming together pretty darn quick. This is a stupid simple kit. I'm really curious to see how this thing's gonna work. Ooh, those are close. My god. I might need to get the helping hands on this sucker. Hans has his death grip on there. Took a little sandpaper to the uh, enamel wire there. Feed that through, stick the coil on. Hopefully that was its intended use. Also, if you ever need a good iron, my god, this been through hell with this thing back. It is unbeatable. Alright, got a little blob on. And now the primary. We'll use our oral wire strippers. Alright, we should be good to uh, apply some voltage and see what the hell happens. I'm excited. So I've got my ever endearing 5 volt power supply here. Built this years ago and uh, she's still running good today. Had to search around for a good half hour to try to find one of these uh, goofy little power connectors that nobody uses anymore. Oh, there we go. Lights on. Not feeling anything from it. I declare it a piece of crap. <laughs> well, with my little 5 volt power supply, I was not getting shit. Um, it does look like audio modulation I would believe is necessary. Let's see.
Mm, would appear not. We got arc. Look at that. We got a little freaking arc off that thing. Holy shit. Wow. I can't believe that little thing works. I wonder if it hurts. No, not at all. That's really neat. All right, gets a little hot. Wow. So, <laughs> my power source right now is the uh, Makita battery we rebuilt <laughs> in the last video. But, uh, how cool. I mean, it certainly isn't the uh, arc throwing Nikola Tesla maniac look sort of coil, but nonetheless, it's pretty neat. Wonder if the uh, auto module, audio modulation would work at all. I'm gonna try playing a little, little throwback song here, the Glitch Mob. Yeah, this thing's making my phone go crazy. Does not like that. Damn, can't get the old Walkman powered up, so. That appears to be our only choice, but that's pretty cool. Little freaking Wow. Mmm, the smell of burnt skin. Love it. That's cool. Tiny little Tesla coil for six bucks. Let's uh let's grab a CFL and see if it'll light that up. Ha! <laughs> Son of a bitch! That's amazing! That little guy lights up a freaking CFL. I mean, given you're not going to light a room with it or nothing, but wow. That's incredible. That's really wild. Fun little toy. This, uh... I wonder what would happen if we gave it more voltage. So, it says 5 volts. I'm wondering what would happen if we threw 24 at it. Don't even know if I have a 24 volt power supply, but we shall see. Well, the closest I can muster is the uh, 18 volt Makita. I'm sure I have a power supply somewhere hiding out, but couldn't find it at this moment. So let's see what the Makita does. Whoa, that's got that little thing alive now. Oh. And, uh, doesn't feel quite as good. <laughs> Pretty freaking cool. Isn't that wild? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If, uh, if I can find a link for this thing, I'll throw it in the description below. Help the channel out if, if you want to get one. Uh, probably, hopefully, can find an affiliate link or something. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.